It was a historic school year at many U.S. universities as pro-Palestinian protests broke out across campuses. Those protests sparked a lot of questions about how much the First Amendment protects students' rights, and it may have even impacted opinions on campus free speech. A new survey finds 27 percent of college students say it's OK to restrict free speech they may find offensive or biased, up from 22 percent in 2021. Students that identified as Democrats were mostly split on whether to allow all speech on campus, even speech they find offensive, compared to 7 in 10 Republicans. And of note, 7 in 10 students of all political ideologies reported that speech can be just as harmful as physical violence. Some students said they felt uncomfortable with references to race, gender, or sexual orientations, even if it wasn't directed toward them. Additionally, research reveals students' faith in their First Amendment rights have fallen since 2016. The report states with campuses cracking down on protests, political leaders casting a questioning eye on the decisions of university administrators, and emerging technology making disinformation easier and faster to produce, the position of higher education as a forum for open discussion has never been more crucial or imperiled. 60% of students agree, saying the climate at their school stopped some people from speaking their minds over fears it may be deemed offensive. The findings follow crackdowns on student activists in the wake of sometimes chaotic and violent protests. Harvard is in the process of adopting rules prohibiting unapproved displays, signage, and chalking, according to a draft document obtained by the Harvard Crimson. The policy would also ban the filming or photographing of individuals on campus without consent. The proposal is reportedly in response to students who were doxxed for participating in campus protests. At Straight Air News, we cover free speech and other topics with unbiased straight facts. For more on news with that approach, download the Straight Air News app or visit san.com.